Hey Capricorn, what's going on? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you guys are all doing well. This is your general tarot reading for the month of May going into June 2022. We're going to take a look and see what's happening for you guys in love. If this resonates, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. It will not hit home for you guys, um, for everyone, each and every one of you guys. But if it does, let me know. If you want a personal tower reading, all the details are in the description box below. You can grab a tower reading on my website or Etsy. I also offer my tarot and oracle decks. I have more coming. Be on the lookout for that as well as my cheat sheets and all that. So Capricorn, let's jump right in. Let's see what messages pop out for you guys. What is the biggest challenge for Capricorn in love? The biggest challenge for you guys is the Queen of Cups and the Five of Cups in reverse. I feel Capricorn, you may be finding yourself in this Queen of Cups energy, okay? You have a lot of love to give. You want to experience love. You want to receive a love. You're very nurturing. You're very caring. You're very patient, loyal, understanding. There is something from the past that is resurfacing in your energy, and that could be one of the challenges you're faced with right now, overcoming some kind of disappointment or sadness or regret. This could be a past relationship that you were in. Um, it's something that you are moving past and forward from, but there is something here that makes you feel sad or... It may make you feel some kind of way about love. So even though you want to experience love and you're open to it, right? Your heart, you want to experience love with someone else. There is the energy of something from the past that may have not worked out the way you wanted it to. And it affects you. It affects your ability to find love. Some of you guys, you are connected with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. In the recent past, my Capricorns, we have the Emperor, the Sun, the Magician, it looks like more recently you've been taking back control of your life. Maybe there's someone in your life that has stepped up to the plate, someone that you are interested in. This is someone that could be a little bit forceful, okay? Someone who is aggressive about what they want. Um, they don't shy away from what they want, right? They take action. I see something really manifesting for you, Capricorn. And maybe you didn't reach that outcome or what you want exactly just yet, but I see something manifesting for you in love. I'm seeing a situation maybe turn around for you. And the sun is telling me that there, there's something that's changing that could be transforming. There could be healing taking place. The sun, very powerful energy. You could be getting enlightenment and clarity. Something here could be illuminated to you about something manifesting or something finally to move forward with the emperor. The sun is also finding happiness. Some of you guys are learning a different way to find happiness, to find happiness within in different places. Um, this could be a Leo in your life. This could be a Gemini in your life. So let's see what the current energy is. The current energy is the Ace of Cups in a verse, the Three of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords in a verse. I feel like there may have been a missed opportunity in love or some kind of falling out of a love connection. Maybe someone that you were romantically involved with. And it feels to me like something didn't work out the way you anticipated. Maybe there was some kind of lie or conflict between the both of you. You may even have called out this person for something they may have done. Um, I'm definitely seeing a disagreement, but I'm also seeing some kind of resolution. I feel like you and this person are moving past some kind of conflict, maybe something you guys just didn't agree on, um, you know, maybe even seeing things differently. I'm getting even like working out your differences because the three of pentacles, there is an opportunity right now, Capricorn, where you're like solidifying a bond with someone. You're able to move past something and finally rebuild the foundation, rebuild the friendship. Some of you guys, it could be someone like a, getting someone you have a child with, with the emperor and the three of pentacles. It could be a, um, a co-parenting energy where you guys are finally working out some kind of connection. You're working as a team or in some kind of partnership. Okay. And it could be regarding children. I'm seeing the energy of moving away from drama and conflict overall, okay? So give me the energy for you guys, Capricorn. What's in your energy right now? We do have the Nine of Swords and the Star in reverse, okay? You could be dealing with Aquarius. A lot of you guys, it's almost like you've given up on something regarding love. There's something you're not as hopeful about. Maybe you feel like it hasn't worked out for you. This could be a particular individual in your life. There's something about um, you no longer being as optimistic. And, you know, it brings you some kind of stress. So something you're thinking about. Maybe it's a person, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, who you are in your head about. There's a lot of conflict and just overthinking about the situation. Something that may have not worked 
worked out. I almost feel like there's someone that even though you have a better connection with now, and things have gotten, you know, so much better over a period of time. It's almost like it's not quite what you wanted. It's not quite what you, it's like settling, you know what I mean? So there's someone that you're in your head about um, because something here has not manifested the way you wanted it to or turned out the way you wanted it to. There was a dream, a hope, a wish you wanted and it didn't work out that way. In the foundation, we have the Eight of Swords, we have the Full card, we have the Three of Swords, and we have the Queen of Pentacles. There's your energy. Wow. So your energy, you're coming out in someone else's energy, which is telling me that Capricorn, you're heavenly being thought of, okay? Someone is very much thinking about you. And they see you in this Queen of Pentacles energy, which means they see you as someone who is reliable, you're trustworthy, you're grounded, you're stable. There could also be someone here who wants some kind of future with you. They see stability in their in the future with you i'm seeing this as someone that is overthinking something regarding you maybe an opportunity i feel like they really want a new beginning with the full card but there could be some risk here right maybe there's been something that has happened in the past where it's not going to be so easy to have this new beginning because someone is definitely thinking about it but they're finding themselves very stuck in their head feeling tied up, feeling bound. Maybe they feel like they don't have that opportunity or the opportunity is no longer presented to them. I feel this is someone that finds themselves very hurt right now. Um, in their heart space is the three of swords, so they may have hurt you. Maybe they're hurting because they hurt you. There is some kind of betrayal or maybe even a third party situation here. Someone here caused a lot of emotional pain, but I feel like this is something that they're going through right now as well. And you may not be aware of this, so we have a new beginning that wants to happen with this energy. I feel this full card could be someone who's feeling, um, you know, they're ready. They're a bit of a free spirit. This is someone that may not be thinking about exactly how they're going to have this new beginning, but they want it, okay? So let's see what the outcome looks like. King of Cups, ooh, Ten of Cups, and the Wheel in Reverse. Capricorn, this could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone has a lot of love for you. I even feel like this could be like your divine counterpart because as you know, we started off with the Queen of Cups and we also have the King of Cups. I feel you're going to be um, connecting with someone that... Someone that has just as much love for you as you have for them. Someone that you're going to have um, the ability to open up your heart to. There is a beautiful connection here. So I feel like there, part of the challenge is to let go of something from the past, right? Maybe this person hurt you. Maybe you were dealing with someone else from your past. Another relationship that went sour or, and left you bitter. Something you're having to move away from in order to finally get to this place and be happy with this person. So this could be a new person. This could be an old person. It could be someone resurfacing, someone you dated very briefly. But there's a beautiful opportunity here and it's going to make you very happy it's going to get to you uh get you to this happy space and happy place okay and the only thing i would say with the wheel in a verse there's something here about timing maybe the timing isn't going to work out for you maybe there's something you want now and it's not happening until later be a little bit flexible with that capricorn because i do feel like there could be a, a change or something not happening or happening um playing out in a different way, okay? Or even something getting worse before it gets better, right? Because the wheel is in reverse. All right, so let's take a look. Let's see what else we can find out, Capricorn. If this is your reading, like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you want a personal tarot reading for yourself, all the details are in the description box. All right, the Five of Cups is here. Why is the Five of Cups here with the Queen of Sor? Uh, sorry, the Queen of Cups. Five of Cups with the Queen of Cups is here. What is that about? Eight of Swords came out in a verse. So there is a lot of overthinking that I think you guys are going to be moving past. Um, Eight of Swords speaks about anxiety and stress some of you guys are stressed about something that happened in the past that didn't go as planned there could be a lot of regrets wishing that i had done things differently wishing that you know just regrets overall um give me the reason past the hermit in reverse could be a virgo and the empress in reverse i feel like something here really had the ability to manifest and come together right but i feel like someone may have not been ready i'm getting the energy of silence they may have ghosted you we have the energy of the emperor and the empress in reverse so i almost feel like the um there, there's the energy of someone just not being respected maybe taking advantage of the other person's kindness and love 
I'm seeing one person ready, another person just wasn't, okay? So for whatever reason, I also feel with the hermit, someone here needed time to think about this. It was almost like it was too good to be true. I mean, the sun is here. We have this beautiful emperor, um, magician and the emperor. It looks like things really had the ability to move forward if someone allowed it. But I almost feel like even though someone saw a future with you, it's like they needed to think about it. They may have felt like just not ready. They needed a moment. They needed to find themselves. Ten of Swords, and it caused an ending. So it looks like in the past, something here seemed very promising, but then it resulted in an ending. It's like, again, too good to be true, right? The roads were open. You made this person happy. Things were manifesting and falling together, and someone here caused an ending. So it looks like there was some kind of sabotage, okay? Now, give me the current energy. We have a conflict. We have some lies here as well. What is this? We have the Five of Cups in reverse. Someone is not proud of what they what they did. They lied. King of Cups came out in the verse. It looks like someone here in the past, um, King of Cups came out in the verse here. So there's the energy of someone here. And I think this is the same person. King of Cups came out in the verse and then it's in the upright in the outcome. So there is some change happening, right, with this person. I'm seeing maturing. I'm seeing uh, finally being emotionally available, coming to sense, okay, of what this connection is. Someone here definitely made a decision that was not in favor of this connection. I'm seeing a lot of, again, disappointment, a lot of hurt, a lot of grief, a lot of remorse. Could have been regarding a third party because I'm seeing the Three of Pentacles and the Two of Swords in birth. Someone had to get cut out. Someone had to cut out a person that shouldn't have not been involved. There could have been an external force. I'm just getting uh, distractions and confusion. So I feel the Two of Swords in birth could be someone having to make a decision um, to cut something out because I even feel like if they didn't cut that person out, they would never have been able to really love you the right way because we have the Ace of Cups and the King of Cups in verse. So it's like this person loved you, but they couldn't show that to you because of some kind of outside in interference, okay? Let's look at the star and the nine of swords. It brought a lot of stress to you guys and see right now it's affecting you. It's affecting your overall stability, okay? Your day-to-day -day life, your home, your commitments, your responsibility, um, this relationship has really turned you out. I mean, Capricorn, you're coming out in a verse. A lot of you guys are questioning if a new beginning can even happen at this point because of all the damage that has been done. The star is in reverse here. You've lost optimism. You've lost hope and faith that something here can start back up. There's also some major trust issues that a lot of you guys are going to have to heal if you're even interested in having a new beginning with this person. This could be an Aries, this could be an Aquarius, but I feel like for most of you guys, the Queen of Pentacles and Verses telling me that someone may have abandoned the connection or just did not, um, was not ready to take this serious, right, and invest and commit. And that's what has brought you a lot of anxiety and fears, the Nine of Swords, okay? Let's take a look at what's going on in the foundation. So we have the Eight of Swords. What is this person in their head about? Being the King of Pentacles for you in a tower. It looks like someone is going through big, 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 big change. Okay, you may have two people you're dealing with, Capricorn. I feel for some of you guys, this could be your counterpart, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. There is the energy of the tower. And the tower, what we know of it, is very, very um, destructive. It can happen very abruptly. It's very uncomfortable to have to go through. It brings change to, you know, people spiritually, emotionally, mentally, physically, um, financially, right? The tower is uh, pretty groundbreaking. It's, again, very um, difficult to have to deal with. And I feel like this is someone that may be going through some kind of tower moment in their personal life. It may certainly affect and bleed over into this connection. And I really feel like this is someone that is changing the way they show up, changing the way they uh, contribute, right? Changing the their, their status, the King of Pentacles. They may be in a place where they're growing up, maturing, and able, able to finally provide some form of stability. We have a Scorpio, we have Aries. Give me the full card. Someone here is thinking about a new beginning, Ace of Wands and Verse. Something has not been working or moving forward. There's been a lack of change, a lack of progress, and someone is saying, I want a new beginning. I want to uh, take a risk. I want to put myself out there. The only problem is the Three of Swords. They've caused a lot of hurt to you. The Hierophant, the Five of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. It could be a Taurus. It does look like this is someone, Capricorn, who's rethinking their commitment to you. I'm seeing some kind of um, some kind of hurt ending betrayal regarding maybe a committed partnership or a marriage. Some of you guys, they stepped out of this marriage and now they're feeling quite left out in the cold. Some of you guys, they literally got kicked out of the home and now they're feeling left out in the cold. They feel in this place of lack or at a complete loss because they have not in, oops, invested <laughs> properly. 
right someone could be going through a lot of financial insecurities or um a situation where you know they don't want to be they're they're at a loss for sure or experiencing some kind of lack and you know seven of pentacles in verse it's really because they didn't put in what they want it right <laughs> if you want a certain outcome you got to put in the work time energy effort and with the seven of pentacles in verse they didn't invest properly how they see moving toward you is the queen of pentacles so they see you as being very again um someone who's stable you have a lot of opportunities opportunities that they can have if they were to be with you so i do see something changing but give me the energy of the wheel in reverse we have the six of pentacles we have the queen of swords in reverse and the temperance could be a sagittarius there's something happening in divine timing the wheel in the temperance indicating it may not be happening on your time but it's on divine timing i feel like part of it is because someone has to get cut out and i want to revisit that two swords right there's something someone is holding on to maybe something that you know they it's caused some indecision okay with regard to this connection because i feel like this is someone that may be giving to another connection Six of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Maybe there's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone that they've been contributing to or giving their resources, time, energy, effort, and money to, okay? And there's something about finally closing out that cycle or letting it go. But it's going to happen in time. And I feel like in time, this person will realize what they have to do. And there will be um, Ten of Cups, right? There will be happiness that will be restored in this partnership with you and this person. Because at the end of the day, we have the Ten of Cups and the King of Cups. So it looks really great. It looks like this is someone who has a lot of love for you. And they are going to... Um, come back to who they love right which is you so Capricorn I do see a lot of changes happening but again timing is the biggest thing right temperance so Capricorn that is what I have for you guys I hope you enjoyed this reading like share, comment and subscribe and I'll check you guys out soon all right take care bye